You know, we see this slight rise of the complexity of the machines around us, and we think things are going to continue on this slow slope, but no, we're actually at this knee of a curve. Things are going vertical. They really are. So Mark Andreessen said, software is eating the world. That's a great phrase. If we ask ourselves three words that really define how hardware and software are different today, I think openness, tools, and scale are the words. What's TensorFlow? So it's Google's deep learning-based AI. What did they do to it just three months ago? They opened it up. Why did they do that? Why did they give that tool openly for anybody to use? Yeah, they want scale. They want hundreds of people, thousands of people playing with this tool because they know that deep learning is going to grow way faster than they could ever grow it. And if they didn't open their tool, who else would have opened and tooled and scaled deep learning? Human cortex, the way neurons work in human cortex, to the way deep learning neurons talk to each other. The sensory processing looks the same. The deep learning tools that we're using today have captured a lot of the features, a lot of the algorithms of how this thing works. It's so different, this kind of computing, this kind of programming, that I think we should call it natural intelligence rather than artificial intelligence. To me, that's the, that's the agent web. You're going to want to have an agent as the front end to everything that you do. Do you want that agent to be supplied by some big company? Maybe, if they're playing fair by the rules, as long as there's lots of versions of them out there. But do you want to have, like Linux, the open source version? This is not just an app. This is an OS, like open source. Like Linux, do I want to have, at the root level of my interaction with the world, do I want to have an agent that has private data that I know is private to me that nobody else has? That all my other friends are saying, yes, this code is good, this code is, uh, all, with lo enough eyes, all bugs are shallow, this code is, is um, proven to be trustable by past behaviors. And um, that's really a world where you go from the knowledge graph where we are today to kind of a truthfulness, probability, and values graph, where I can go and find all the other people that think like me, right? I've gone from the smart agent to a personal sim. I'm reaching for a can of tuna, and the thing gives me the little green arrow on my AR goggles, and I move two inches because this one's no longer killing the dolphins, or the mercury levels is, is lower. And my agent sends an automatic boycott message to the big bad boys and says, you know, I'm not going to buy your crap until you do X, Y, Z, right? And did I even think about that? No, my agent did that for me. My personal sim is now a lobby sim. It's an interesting world we're in.